Welcome New York Giants. You come at an opportune time. We are preparing a veritable feast. Carrots, mushrooms, pineapple, cave onions, and for dessert, the melon tart. But we have none of these things. That is why we call on our industrious lemur minions. The uh, problem with preparing the feast is that uh, when the Fusa attacked, our food supplies were kind of wiped out. It's always something. Well, this should be quite a soiree. Who needs food? You could help greatly with some basic foraging. That sounds dangerous. Then would you consider collecting fruit and vegetables instead? That will do. It's settled then. Use the totems to switch between you and your three friends. You have each different abilities and can finish different tasks. Oh, one more thing. If you would like advice on where to look for the banquet items, you can return to me and I'll try and help you out. Go get him, tiger. <laughs> Gloria. Take care of yourself. Ciao. I've got this problem with some cockroaches, but I don't think you can help me. Do you think you can get Melman? Is that yoga you're doing? Oh, I'm just trying to get this fruit in. Oh, be still, my foolish heart. Excuse me? I'm Wilbur, and you are the most beautiful creature I have ever seen. I must have you. Oh, please. You've got a much better chance of picking up the fruit. And that's not looking too good. Well, I, uh, you know, I, ju I, I just uh, can't lift that much right now because I injured my knee earlier doing uh, something really impressive. Say, maybe you could help me smash these melons I need to make my famous melon tort. And what's in it for me? Well, I could make you some to bring back for your grand jubilee feast. It's on. Oh, okay, great. We just have to smash these melons quick as they ripen. Otherwise, they spoil fast. And I only believe in using fresh fruit. Could you hurry up a bit? Thanks, baby. Oh, that was like poetry in motion. We should get together on another date again soon. Another date, Wilbur? Yes, but now I have to start making that melon tort I promised. Catch you later. I guess 
I need to collect my power cards before I can do any work here in this garden. Got them all warmed up for you, Alex. Thanks, Gloria. Now it's time to do my thing. I wish to direct your attention to the mushroom you see growing here. Quite a delicacy in the taste, simply to die for. Mm. Of course, you know they're quite rare and grown under only the most specific conditions. You must repeat their colorful patterns exactly for the mushroom to grow. Repeat? You must repeat their colorful patterns for the mushy mushroom to grow. That's not what I meant. I mean, this game seems familiar somehow. Oh, I assure you, this is no game, my uncultured friend. This, this is art. Fine, let's get going. <laughs> Do keep going. Be steadfast in your vigilance. Would love to help, but it's just not doable. I'm afraid this job is only for you, Alex. That's simply how life works. I apologize for not being of more assistance, but this is simply something you must do by yourself. Well done! The precious mushroom has begun its celestial ballet! Start collecting! Everybody on this island eat fruit? Doesn't anyone want a juicy porterhouse? Oh, uh, well, hello there again, my gigantic friend. So nice to see you. Uh, unfortunately, though, tis not much else I can see as I seem to have misplaced my glasses. Would you be a dear and guide me to the fruit plants that need my pollination help? Nice to see you again as well, and yes, I would be more than happy to oh, help. Oh, of course you would. Such a nice boy you are. Now, I do have a strict order in which I must visit the various plants as their flowers reach full bloom. So pay close attention and be swift and sure with your guidance. First, we must go to the Crimson Crimsonian plant. It's very nearby. Next to the Blue 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 plant. Now the limey green one. Where is Periwinkle? I must have Periwinkle. You know Periwinkle. On to sea foam green. A lot like Periwinkle, but green. Light! Only a couple more to go. Next, the wondrously rare gray plant. And finally, the dark black plant. As black as coal. job. In this grotto, the cave onions ripen. Harvest them quickly or the spiders will get them first. 
Spiders? We will be needing many cave onions for the marvelous, savory, fried, blossom spectacular. That's a lot Don't of- Don't dilly dally, the harvest season doesn't last that long. Onions, people. Now we shall feast for days. Juicy sweet, juicy sweet. Juicy sweet, juicy sweet. They seem a bit too happy. Gloria? Just taking care of a little business is all. love growing in this garden, all right? But these nasty little moles like to uproot the plants before they're ripe. I need you to save the veggies by smashing the moles when everyone surfaces, all right? I can get with that. Cool! Show them your butts, the boss, and some of the fruits or uh, vegetables of your labor will be yours. Can you dig? Hope so. He can. Good luck, Gloria, all right? <laughs> 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 this. You haven't seen the last of me. You showed that mole the way home. Here's your prize, Gloria. <laughs> Pretty rough out there, kid. Sure you're up to it? Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Hey, when's this banquet gonna start? Hey, when's this banquet gonna start? Melman! Thank the great. 
right, Peapod, you're here. And you can head bash. Oh, this is looking good. I'm afraid to ask. These cockroaches are trying to steal our stash of noogie nuts for the noogie nut noogie smoothies. I need to get rid of them, but I'm too small. Oh, those roaches make me so mad. I could just squeeze them really hard and yell at them. Why can't Alex do it? Well, the other New York giants scare them off only temporarily, so then they come back. But you, you can help. See, the cockroaches aren't afraid of you because you're afraid of them. But if you gather what courage you have, you can wait for them to come and then head bash them. Yeah! You said it, though. I'm scared of them. Then you can stand in the middle of the Nuki Nuts mound. They'll form a kind of protective barrier. Yeah, that's it. Um, that's right. And then bash the roaches when they come for the Nuki Nuts. Ha! That'll work! Oh, that's gross. Well, you do want Noogie Nut Noogie smoothies, don't you? They're really, really good. All right, I'll do it. Noogie Noogie. Noogie Noogie. My Noogie. Noogie Noogie. Noogie Noogie. Noogie Noogie. Noogie Noogie. Nogi nogi. Nogi nogi. I nogi. Nogi nogi. Nogi nogi. Nogi nogi. Nogi nogi. I nogi. Nogi nogi. Nogi nogi. I gotta go to my happy place now. That sounds like a great idea, Melman. So wish to challenge me to a jumping contest, do ya? Think you can jump farther than me, can ya? I didn't say anything about a jumping contest. We never even met before. Although, now that you mention it, yes, I guess I do think I can jump farther than you. Ah, well, how's about we make a little contest out of it, uh-huh? If you can out-jump me, I'll give you some of my frog fruit. Makes for a great gift, it does. And of course, if I win, I'd say a few words designed and intended to humiliate you. Sounds like a good deal. Let's see what you got, little frog. <laughs> So, I might have underestimated you, Zebra. You got Moxie, I'll give you that I will. But that was only the first jump it was. Let's see if you make the next one. I'm going to let you in on a little secret, my friend. You still haven't seen my best jump yet. Been going easy on you, have. Got a feeling that's about to change, though. Well, looks like I've misjudged you, stranger. You got some real legs on you, uh-huh. Probably deserve a bit of frog fruit for your troubles, and I'm here to give it to you. Thank you, New York Giants, for helping us to find all the ingredients for all the wonderful food we will be providing for you at our super special and amazing banquet. In exchange for your help, we would like to give you um, the key to the jungle! Sir, we don't have a door to the jungle, much less a key. Well, what can we give them then? Well, it's a banquet. Just give them food. Ooh, good one. You know that key to the jungle thing, it gets so old. And what good would it do you anyway? I've changed my mind. I am in fact going to offer you lots and lots of food from our banquet. I thought we were going to get that Thank in. you so much. Right. Thanks.
Hey, Melman, have you seen Alex lately? He's not looking so good. Oh, dear. I knew it was only a matter of time until one of us contracted a disease indigenous to these new lands and passed it on to the rest. Our bodies aren't designed to survive in this environment. Do you understand, Gloria? Our bodies just aren't designed. Melman, you need to grab some downtime, buddy. I don't think Alex has any kind of disease. I think he's just getting really, really hungry. Did you notice he didn't eat a single thing at the banquet? Oh, that. Well, yes, I noticed, but that's just because we couldn't find a steak tree. Once we find one of those, he'll be eating like a sheep with enterotoxemia. Except hopefully he won't die afterwards. That's all well and good, except there's no such thing as a steak tree. Uh-oh. Now I'm back to being worried again. And that can lead to equine protozoomyelitis, or EPM for short. Melman, you're not getting equine proto-whatever. We just need to figure out a way for Alex to get some steak. There's Maurice over there. Why don't you go ask him if he can help? Melman, thank the stars you're here. Hey, do you have any steak trees in this jungle? I am sorry, my friend, but I have not heard of such a thing. But if we did have this steak you speak of, it would have to be on this grand baobab tree. Unfortunately, though, it is festering with baobab worms. Perhaps you can help us save the tree from the worms and maybe find this thing you call steak. Good thing I'm not tall enough to see these. Oh, worms! Why didn't you tell me they were so horrible? I'm trying, Melman. You can save the tree and wipe out the worms and their nests by gliding to these mushroom platforms around the tree. Our bad buddies have supplied you with coconuts to fling at them. But I heard that worms in the nest are poisonous. My body cannot tolerate toxins. Then make sure you don't touch them. Glide to the platform over there. Here you go. As much as I want to complain, there's something about flinging these coconuts I actually like. Coconuts would be hairy? Whoa. I better watch out for those vultures. Maybe I can fling some coconuts at them. something clean, like antibacterial soaps or something.
tree! I should have mentioned my acrophobia before agreeing to do this goal. Good news, Melman! We found the Baobab Worm's primary colony! That's good news? Well, the good news is that we found them. The bad news is that they're breeding like crazy! We need to stop them! Pronto! That's terrible! It looks like there's quite an army of those filthy little creatures down there. Right! And that's where you come in! This time, instead of coconuts, you're going to have to fling these durian bombs down onto the worms and their nests! We're counting on you, Melman! Let's get a move on! <laughs> Neck. Now find the next pile of durians and bomb the next colony! the risk of pulmonary edema increases tremendously. one of the many possible side effects of being up this high. Well, this is horrible. I am especially intolerant to pain. to get down to the floor and mop up the last few before they can escape. Oh, each what? of these... Oh! Oh. Oh. ...take out all of these disgusting worms if this place is ever to be clean. If just one of these worms survives, the filth will never die. You did it! You're our hero! That was high pressure! You really stretched yourself! <laughs> now, man, I can't believe you! Since when are you such a stud? You totally saved the day! Don't suppose you're up for another little task? Hey, it's my turn! What's the job? Remember that out-of-control mole from the banquet? He and his friends have taken up residence underneath our garden! They're ruining it! Here's the situation, all right? I've been busting my hump to keep this garden productive, and these moles could care less, all right? You think you can help me? I'm game. What do you need me to do? All right. These bad boys come in three colors. The black ones are mild. The gray ones are wild. The brown ones are somewhere in the middle, all right? 
You show these pests you mean business, and I'll give you a point for the black, two for the brown, and three for those gray menaces. And if you can get enough points, my troubles will be literally buried. Literally. You pests hit the wrong guy and just do whatever it is you do. Have you seen your friend Alex lately? Alex? Oh yeah, he's down there. I mean, have you seen his condition? It's making me very uncomfortable. You three look delicious tonight. <laughs> like to come down for, for dinner? This isn't good. I'm gonna go find Marty. Melman, we need to get across this valley to the cave over there if we want to catch up to the others. Alex seems to have developed a strange, unhealthy obsession with you, Mort. Yeah, you think? Your little helicopter spinning routine could come in handy. If you can fly me from one platform to another, we can avoid your crazed friend. Sounds doable, I guess. Just make sure to stay elevated and don't fall down to the ground level. Or, uh, well, let's just say you don't want to know what could happen. Right. This is more pain than anyone should take. Mort! Alex must have gone completely crazy. I can't Mort! catch that, can I? Mort! There's something I'd like to Alex, discuss with you. Snap out of it. Go uncrazy or something. stayed above the ground, I think I might have been a goner. Yeah, I'm getting worried about Marty and Gloria being down there. I'm less worried now. It seems your friend Alex has finally understood his predatory nature. Huh? What are you talking about? What I mean is, Alex is a lion and lions eat other animals. That's where steak comes from! Uh, still not getting it. Does this explain things, Melman? Alex just bit me on the butt! See? Yep, that is a bite on the butt, all right. Unless we all want to be steak, I suggest we beat it. 